I'm Bill Fortney and I'm a Fujifilm ex-photographer and this is my photography vlog and I want to talk a little bit about the equipment that I use, why I use it and uh, this is going to be one of a series of videos that I'd like to post for you. Let me start out by saying that from time to time I want to go on a trip and I want to carry a minimum amount of equipment so that the weight is lower but I still want to have a good coverage of focal lengths that I need to shoot everything from wide to longer telephoto. I have a number of lenses. I own almost all the lenses that Fuji has made, but when I want to travel light, I have a little system I want to discuss with you. And it can be carried very easily and it covers quite a good distance. First of all, one of my favorite cameras that Fuji makes is the X-Pro2. This is their rangefinder style professional camera, 24 megapixels, exceptionally great handling camera, well made, all metal, um, makes beautiful files and, and I really use this camera a lot. It's one of my favorites. Actually, I have a pair of these. Um, when I'm traveling, the lens that is on this camera most often is this little lens here. It's a 35mm f2. Um, very small and compact, all metal, uh, very sharp, uh, focuses very fast and has wonderful manual focusing because of the uh, tension that's in the focusing ring. It's really a wonderful little lens. If I'm out on the road and I'm carrying this camera, that's generally the lens that's going to be on it. Remember, it's an APS-C size sensor, so a 35 millimeter lens on this camera is equivalent of about a 50 millimeter lens. So this is the standard setup. Um, if you wanted to go wider, I carry one lens all the time. I use these little Tamarack bags to protect things and it's a handy place to put your lens caps and stuff so they don't get lost when you get ready to put something on the camera. This is the 23mm f2. It's the twin lens to the one that's on the camera. And this particular uh, lens being 23mm is the equivalent of a 35, which is your most universal wide angle. If I had to be limited to only one lens, if I was traveling and somebody said you have to take one body and one lens only, um, it would be the 35 millimeter focal length. You can do portraits, environmental portraits with it, you can do landscape work, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that would be the wide angle lens that I generally carry. If I really want to go super wide, very wide, then this one right here, this is Fujifilm's 16 millimeter lens, which is the equivalent of a 24, and this is an f1.4 lens. So it's very fast, it focuses extremely close. You can focus about that close. Uh, and with 1.4 you can get really shallow depth of field. It's a beautiful lens, one of their sharpest. Um, it's a little bigger and heavier, but when you look at all of this together, it's a pretty light system. And so this would be, in this system, my extreme wide angle lens. And all, most all these lenses have lens hoods that either bayonet on or that are very small, like the 23 and the 35 have real small hoods that just stay right on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, now you're going to want to shoot longer. So if you want to do a portrait or reach out a little bit, the most versatile lens that I carry, one that I enjoy a great deal, is the 60 millimeter micro, which is an f2.4, which is still pretty fast. Um, it's actually a smaller lens than what it looks like here. Those are automatic extension tubes that allow me to focus closer with this lens. But this lens that has its own little bayonet lens hood. Um, but that is the, that's the 60 millimeter, which is a 90 millimeter equivalent. Remember, we're talking APS-C size sensor. And Compact. it's, it's uh, it doesn't focus extremely fast, uh, but it does get the job done. And it's a wonderful lens for any time you want to do portraits or a tighter shot. 90 is kind of the classic rangefinder portrait lens. So I was really tickled to death that Fuji made that lens for their system. Always with the Fuji system carry extra batteries. I'll usually have at least four extra batteries um, and then in the evening we'll charge them when I get back to the room when I'm traveling. But put them in these little think tank containers and carry a couple of those and you got all your batteries. Um, the way to carry all of this, certainly any way you want to, but what I use is the Think Tank uh, Retrospective, and this is the Model 5, or the Series 5, 
which is a um, will hold the camera with the lens, all these lenses, and then all of your cleaning supplies, accessories, and things that you want to carry. It's even got room in the back if you have a mini iPad, or you can put uh, some your instruction manuals back here. But it's a, it's a real uh, real nice little bag, and even loaded up, it's not very heavy at all, and so it's really good for travel. Um, this is a system that would allow you to take almost any kind of travel photograph that you wanted to make and they're all single focal length lenses, no zooms, so they can be faster. F2, F2, F1.4, and F2.4. So you've, all, you've got pretty fast lenses, you can work in available light, um, and it's just a, it's a great system. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Hope you'll come back and see me again on my vlog, and thanks again. Take care and God bless.